So while we were uh, cleaning my bedroom and rearranging everything, um, we had a box of books that I did not want anymore. It was just taking up space and I read them. I didn't really enjoy them. So we went to a half price bookstore to get rid of them. I mostly just wanted them out of my house and then giving them to the bookstore causes somebody else to be able to buy them if they want them at a cheaper price, right? So that's fine. But um, I think a lot of people go there just to get money, but you get the most amount of money if you use it for store credit. Cause, like it was like twenty dollars and something for store credit versus ten dollars in cash, and. Uh, the lady at first didn't really seem nice because I think a lot of people bring a lot of books in and hopes to get a lot of cash when it doesn't work out that way but I just really wanted them gone and as I was browsing through the store because she needed time to go through the books I found the most amazing thing in my entire life I found the boxcar children I found 20 Boxcar children. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 19. So I had, I had said 20 because my receipt has 20 books on them, so I actually got charged for an extra book, which kind of sucks. I'm a little upset, but it's not like I'm gonna go back because, like, will they believe me? Probably not. So there's nothing I can do about it now. The Boxcar Children is like my childhood. I remember reading these when I was a kid and just like all of them, growing up with them. And like this, it's variety of numbers. I start at 9 and I go up to 123 and all just random numbers of them. There's a lot of stories. But they're all mystery stories. What I really want to get now is number 1. Just of the first few because that like it starts it off. And I don't really need it now because all the books further on are just like their own separate mysteries. But it's, I really like number one because it like sets them off of why they are the boxcar children. It's because they live in a boxcar, an old abandoned box boxcar. And that's just awesome. But yeah, as a kid, my favorite thing is like mysteries. So boxcar children, amazing. So it's pretty exciting that I just got these. Because I'd been talking to Sean about them a while ago, actually. Do you remember that? Yeah, you, yeah. I can't I, remember what it was. I think we were at the library. We were at the library and we were looking for them. them. And we found a comic book. Yeah, there was like a comic and, book. And like, that's not like, what I know, wanted. That's not what you want. But like, this is amazing. And I'm really happy. Yeah, because you, you were trading in a bunch of your old books. No, that's cool. I know I used to read not... Like, I kind of recognize the boxcar children, but I don't know if I really read a lot of them. Clearly, it's not as much of a staple in my childhood as it was for you. Oh, it I know, amazing. but I, I used to read um, Encyclopedia Brown, which is another kind of, like, mystery thing for yeah. kids. Yeah, mysteries were my all-time yeah. favorite. What I really loved as a kid was Choose Your Own Adventure books, though. I know my dad had a bunch of really old, like, Choose Your Own Adventure books from, like, the 70s and... 80s and so I found those one one day and I like read through all of them and I kind of cheated because I would like choose which path to go and I'd be like um oh wait my character gets killed and I just go back and choose the other direction. Another another thing that was <laughs> mine was um Olsen and Olsen Mystery Agency they had the tv show and they had books and um, that was amazing. Like the Olsen twins? Yeah Olsen and Olsen. mystery Olsen... thing? Yeah Olsen and Olsen Mystery Agency will solve any crime by dinner time. And one time they didn't solve it by dinner time. It was like a two-parter. <laughs> really? Yeah. The Olsen and Olsen Mystery, Mystery Agency Mystery Agency had it to be continued. Yeah. They they went back to their house because they had to come back. It was the one with the fun house. There was an <laughs> I, there was a gorilla I don't in the know fun house. Any of this he was stuff. eating bananas and he was scaring people. But I want to find the first few. 1964. They were amazing. So yeah, these are these are a little old. Yeah, but like. <laughs> no, that's the thing. Is that literally... this is gonna be with me for the rest of my life? I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna read these to my children. Now, 
Can I cut your hair? What? Yeah, sure. Yeah, I'm poor and I can't afford a haircut, so. <laughs> High five! <laughs> which, is, which is pretty sad, so I'm gonna get Lady to cut my hair. Because I think she did a good job on her hair. So, I trust Lay her. Lay Miz style? No, we're on, I don't want to look like Hugh Jackman yeah, at the you start do. of Lay Miz. I, well, kind of, that'd be kind of cool. I do have a big scraggly beard. Or Anne Hathaway? Anne Hathaway? No, I don't want to look like Anne Hathaway. Why not? Maybe. She's so pretty. That's true. You look pretty too. Maybe. But yeah, let's let's cut my hair off. Okay. I'm excited. I'm scared. Love you, Sean. Okay, make me look pretty. Yeah. Done. <laughs> How short do you want it? Um, about your length. Never going back now. Rape again. Are you scared? No. I trust you. Yeah? Mm hmm. Really? Yes. Also, guys, don't pull off the girl style. Well, don't give me like a pixie cut, but just, you know, short. But like. But like what? <laughs> it's my only expertise, huh? Is You only know how to give a pixie cut? Yeah. Am I going to have a pixie cut? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Oh no. Yeah, no, what have you done, eh? <laughs> Just make me look handsome, Lydia. I'm trying. Is that a difficult process yes. to make me look super handsome? Nice ball foot. Sorry, I took it too far. That's crossing the line, Lydia. Crossing the line. Yeah? You know my bald spot is beautiful. Now your beard. <laughs> I think it looks pretty good. What do you think about your bangs? What do you? Think? I don't care, honestly. I have no opinion on my hair because I don't know anything. Okay, it looks fine. If I want my hair to look how you want it to look, essentially. It, wait, okay, let me, let me reiterate that and rephrase it a little bit. I want my hair to look good how I like it, but I want you to also approve of it. Okay. Well, I pretty much approve of it. That's what I mean. Yeah. I think it's pretty decent. I just dodged a bullet there. Yeah. <laughs> that was good. This is probably the best haircut I've ever gotten. Especially because it was free. Yeah. I just have to, just, just on the neck. The neck? Well, my neck gets all, my neck, my neck gets as scraggly as my front. Yeah, well, I <laughs> cut a line with the scissors, it's just yeah. hard to no, it's good. get right on it. It's slightly Anne Hathaway-esque, but, you know, I, I like that. I like that. Gotta love when I get the short hair. It makes the beard that much more scraggly. Mmm. -hmm. Beard. You love it, don't you? I like it. Lydia did actually a really good job. Not that I wasn't expecting her to, but I was a little frightened, not gonna lie. But I like it. It's good. It's just what I wanted. Perfect. Now I look handsome. Right? Right? Um, so in last place, mm -hmm. Sean. Yeah. 51. Really? It's a high number. Yeah, that's usually it would be a first place. Second, but... me with 53. Uh huh. And in first, Lydia with 66. 66? That's unheard of that, in this that, game. That is... that is a high score from a first win. Good job. I had no science. That's true. Jesus you stole our Christ. science. That is awesome. Like she had everything else. I the had thing everything is all else. We, in a way, all we had was science. Yeah. And she had everything else. Mm -hmm. Was it? Um, Lydia won with 66. 66. Other scores? Uh, 53 and 51. I am awesome. Demolished. Have a good night. You too. That's crazy. That is exciting. That is just... Thank you. Like... I was saving my win for that. Yeah, that's your first win, and you won with the best, the highest score we've seen in this game. Yet. 
think you're staying late, late, or only a little late? Depends. Depends? I don't feel tired. I don't you, you're not time it is. tired yet? Well, we won't tell you what time it is, that way you will keep not feeling tired. It's like a. Medium. It's like the casinos. <laughs> Yeah. Perpetual. Scott's basement is a casino because that is the window in Scott's basement. Not only are there pillows in front of it, but also that leads into a shed, doesn't it? <laughs> so, so you can't tell, like, that the sun's come up yet, which is why it's like there's times when I'm at Scott's and we're just sitting here talking, and it's like, oh, it's it's 8 a.m. I better walk home now. Walk upstairs. It's like, oh, sun. There's <laughs> sunlight. That's weird. So yeah, we're going to be here for a while, or at least, uh, I, I at least will be. Lydia most Did likely will be as well. Did I check the weather? No, that's true, because that's important as to whether or not I am going to walk home in the middle of the night slash morning. But anyways, hanging out, playing Seven Wonders, having lots of fun, having a couple drinks, you know, the usual. Any whoozles, mm -hmm. going to say goodnight now because, well, it's going to be a late 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 night and i'd rather say good night when it's night instead of morning so good night